G'day, how's it going? So here we are in some beautiful native bush, um, just working our trap line. We've been working in this particular area for about a week now. Um, and yeah, I want to stay another night before we go home and carry some fear out and, um, and get some more food. But uh, yeah, we haven't actually got any food. We sort of run out this morning. So yeah, it's about mid-morning at the moment. Um, and yeah, we won't be out of the bush until tomorrow afternoon. So till then we're going to scrounge around and find a bit of tucker. Um, but there should be plenty around. Obviously we've got the trap line. Um, so there's heaps of, heaps of fresh meat on that. And yeah, I mean, in a survival situation, a couple of days um, without food won't hurt you. But yeah, just to be a fun little challenge to find a bit of food and um, see how good a meal we can come up with just searching around um, in the bush. Sweet! This tree here is called an Ohutu tree and it's got a few berries on it. They don't taste too bad either, they're quite juicy. So this is dinner for tonight, nice fat young possum, be good eating, and the possums and the native at the moment are just in such good condition man, we've just had a wicked berry drop this year, there's just heaps of berries, well, pretty much all the potter cups have, have had a really good berry year um, and a lot of other trees have as well. And yeah, you can just see in there all that fat. That's a obvious sign that the possums are in damn good nick. Especially when you have a young possum with that much fat on it. You know, the old ones often do. Um, but this is only a year old, this possum, and it's already got fat like it's a bloody mature one. So. That should be good, we'll have a chew on some of that liver too for dinner. Um, yeah, we'll continue on our way. Got a few possums to do yet. Um, and then yeah, we'll start thinking about how we're going to cook up a feed. Alrighto, oh, so here we are at camp. Wind's picking up a bit. So yeah, we're finished with the possums for the day. Um, I've just got to shoot down to the creek and uh, get some water because we're pretty much out of water. Um, yeah, go do that. Just on my way back from getting water, bumped into this area where there's a fair bit of super jack, and up there. 
There's a heap of berries right up the top. Yummo. If only they tasted as good as they looked. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut like the fat from the inside of the possum, um, cut a few bits of that off, put it in the pot there, and then I'll render it down over the fire so it turns into a liquid that we can then sear out the possum meat in, um, we'll sear it up and then we'll roast it. Alright, so there's heaps of um, oil in there now. Right, I so just cut one bit leg off one of the possums so far. Bring them over here and put it in the oil. Pretty darn good. Smells darn good. All oh, this possum meat's just dripping with fat, man. That's a good thing when you're working all day. Nice and high on calories, good energy food. Man, it's just so tasty, eh? Like, it's got to be one of the tastiest meats in terms of um, just being able to cook it without seasoning, without no salt or pepper, even, and just still tastes good. Like, it still tastes like you've put something on there, even though I haven't. Have one of these. Mmm. Very nice. Right, eh? Time to go do some work. Right, eh? Found the old cabbage tree. <clears throat> And if you find a new shoot like these ones here, you can just cut them off at the base. And yeah, just cut it all the way until you're just left with the real soft white centre and some of the really um, soft shoots as well. So yeah, that's what we got left. And it's kind of like a cabbagey thing. We'll just slice it up, chuck it in our roast tonight. Be pretty tasty. Once it's been cooked, you can eat it, the really soft parts raw, um, and they don't actually taste too bad. The bits around that centre there, you can eat raw. Pretty easy. But these bits up here are quite fibery. Well, lunch time, bloody starving.
Right, eh? so I got the cabbage here. I'm just gonna chop that up like so. Try and keep it on the belly. Fuck. So I just got the <clears throat> center of the cabbage shoot here. Just gonna slice that up. Yeah, drop that in with our cane. Put the berries. Squirt a bit of water down the edge there so nothing burns. Slightly bent. Try a bit of that cabbage first. Quite nice. Kind of just like a softer version of a potato, really. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Well, I think that's about, um, yeah, all the food gathering we'll need to do. Um, Got a couple of more hours of work left and this food will well and truly bloody fuel us for that um, and then yeah we'll head out of the bush so yeah cheers for watching and um, I'll see you next time sweet right so just on my way out here it started raining almost at the truck now we're in the pines and um, yeah just Bumped into a few of these muckle muckle, or most people know them as wineberry. They're just trees, they don't grow a lot bigger than that, and they like to grow um, around pines and cut over. And yeah, you'll see them a lot on the sides of roads or just regenerating bush in general. Um, yeah, you can see they're all, all around here. You can eat the berries. Um, they're alright. They're pretty bloody dry to be honest. Um, kind of just spongy in texture and full of little seeds that you can eat. But yeah, just not that great. Wouldn't recommend them unless you're super hungry. Sweet.